Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back like I never left. It's my birthday and today I'm sharing with you how I came about this birthday glam. I'm going to be talking to you through it. So we're going to talk about makeup, trying new stuff, as well as my birthday, getting older, my outlook on that, new year resolutions. We have so much to catch up on. So definitely check out this video and share it with your friends and family as well. So the very first thing I'm going to do is actually shape my eyebrows. So I'm going to thread my eyebrows and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So I'm going to prime first. But you know, pons first. I'm actually using a foundation that I haven't used before. So this is the Eddie Girl Pro Coverage Foundation and I'm applying it with my Sephora foundation brush. So every year around my birthday, I typically get upset. Not upset like upset. Ooh, this is a little bit bright so I'm going to mix in a little bit of a darker shade. I used to go through this like really kind of sad, depressing um, stage around my birthday because I would always be so fixed on how much older I was getting and how I hadn't reached my life goals, you know. But ironically, now that I'm even older, I find that I'm less concerned with what I wanted to achieve and I wasn't able to achieve. I'm just more grateful for being here, having another chance, another beginning, another opportunity to do things that I want. Not so bad, this is coffee. Okay, so I started off with coffee. Coffee is too bright and I've mixed in something darker. Look at that. It's definitely not a bad match with my neck, but definitely going to remember this when I'm doing my contours. I'll probably like over contour a little bit. That makes sense. So yeah, I used to be really hard on myself, focused on everything that I did not achieve that I wanted to achieve. I'm, actually, I'm doing my highlight now. I'm using Black Opal's Truly Topaz. Right, so the irony of this whole age freak out is that I used to freak out so much. You would ask me what I was doing for my birthday and I'm like, oh, you know, nothing much, you know, I want to do something really small, like keep it quiet. Almost like I was trying to hide from the world the fact that I was getting older. Girl. And fast forward a few years now, it doesn't bother me as much. It just shows me how much wasted time and effort I spent freaking out about getting older. Now I'm older than that, but the freak out is totally gone. Now I'm able to be more grateful that, you know, I'm getting older and, you know, I'm here. Yes, not everything has gone as planned, but a lot of things honestly have gone better than planned. And I've definitely grown so much between now and even my last birthday or two birthdays ago. I've definitely grown so much. And the most of my growth, this is just me going back in with my foundation brush and whatever foundation is left on the brush, honestly. I'm gonna go ahead and set this and I'm using RCMA new color. Right, so where was I in my rant? Um, Significant growth between now and say three, four years ago and a lot of that growth I actually need to attribute to my spiritual journey. I became born again, if you will, um, a few years ago and it just gives you a whole new lease on life. Like you, you're able to see things. It's definitely easier now, I would say, to see the, the glass half full than half empty. I'm able to experience my birthday and be grateful that I'm alive, I'm still here. Be grateful for all the blessings that I have received, all the times, you know, it's so, it's freaky, but a few days ago, I actually remembered a time when I was in uni, okay? I wasn't on any kind of spiritual journey at all. The final year, and this guy, basically a prophet but he wasn't well like a pro you know he was like a caretaker in uni or something and he came up to me and warned me about something i can't remember his exact words this was over 10 years ago shit over 10 years ago oh my god 
came up to me and he warned me like he gave me a warning about something bad you know that was about to happen to me and you know at the time i brushed it off god forgive me but i mean it was a caretaker so imagine maybe someone who used to sweep the ground or something coming up to you and telling you something like oh sister um what did he say maybe something like oh sister um the place in the east that you're heading to is not for you the lord said to tell you it's not for you something like that i didn't heed his warning to be fair um it was one i wasn't spiritually inclined at the time i wasn't on any kind of journey i wasn't really aware or exposed to these kinds of things so to me it was just like yeah yeah what's this one on about again i beg free me let me go ahead with my daily duties and all so i still ended up getting into the danger he was warning me for I remembered it a few days ago and what that really said to me was you weren't close to God at this time you were not looking for God at this time yes I was Christian I would go to church. I was a Sunday Sunday Christian let's just say that but I wasn't looking for God I wasn't looking to him for guidance I wasn't really talking to him I wasn't reading the Bible I wasn't doing anything that I really was supposed to be doing but he was still looking out for me still trying to warn me he was still trying to help me he was still trying to protect me i'm the one who wasn't listening this is to me just one of the many things we have to be grateful for that we have a god that loves us so much that even when we don't deserve it even when we don't know to ask him for help he's still there trying to help us like this stupid girl about to fall in a ditch Open your eyes, girl. That's a ditch. Don't go there. That's a ditch. So yeah, so this is my contour and the foundation, like I said before, it was a bit brighter than intended. So I'm going ham with the contour. Oh wow, I'm actually using quite a lot of Ellie Girl face products. Wasn't planned to put hair. And my powder is Ellie Girl as well. This is Pro Face. Okay. And that's just going to go in all the general areas. See that contour? See that? Pop in. My brows obviously are already threaded. I just threaded them before. Ooh, let me show you how I've actually been doing my eyebrows lately. It's pretty different. And I typically do this when I'm in a rush, which I kind of am. A brown liquid liner. And I'm going to start at the bottom of my eyebrow. Okay, very lightly. Down to my tail. Right? And I'm going to do the top two. Okay. About that. I'm going to go with the spoolie and I'm going to brush that out. Now, I'm brushing gently and what that just does is it removes the marker marker feel. This is what I do when I need to do my brows super quick. So, and when you use a liquid liner for your base like this, you'll find that you wouldn't need to clean with concealer as much. Pencil for the rest. So now, any sparse area in between the brow, I would then fill that far apart. So I like to pull them closer together. If you wanted to create like a real like 3D brow effect type strokes in the beginning, you could actually come in here with a liquid liner and draw some strokes. I'm fine with a fade. So moving on, moving on. Today, because it's a special day, I'm breaking out this baby girl. Guys, I'm so ashamed of myself. I bought this palette last year in May. I've had it for eight months, guys. Eight whole months, never used it. This is what I'm going to be using for the entire look. I'm gonna put down just a little bit of security. Okay, loading the corner with the dark brown. So yeah, so that's how my birthdays used to be. Now, 
to be fair it's not like i'm planning to have like this giant carnival and block the streets or anything but at least i'm not you know if i choose to celebrate my birthday quietly myself it's a choice and it's not me running away from reality or me trying to deny what's happening um this life is so funny like you'll be in your little corner feeling bad like oh my god i'm old and i haven't changed the world oh my god and then a totally random stranger like someone you don't know from anywhere or maybe someone you see often maybe someone you you know run into or someone you see around or something will come up to you and tell you how oh my god you know you're such an inspiration and you're this and you're that and every time i look at you i see this and i see that and you're just there thinking she talking to me but that's the thing is she is talking to you it's it's so easy to be super hard on yourself and you end up seeing only the bad and you don't see the good in your own self anyway so yeah so i've just put throwing shade oh i love that shade name throwing shade is the matte warm brown that comes in the palette and so on my proper eyelid i'm showing you these eyeshadows while you can see there's no um what's it called primer on my eyelids perfect so it's a shimmery brown You will be in your own little corner feeling like a failure, like the world is about to fall on your head. Meanwhile, there are people around you that are low-key looking up to you, thinking, oh my God, she's so awesome. You know, her life, she must have her life so put together. And they don't just know that you, you're just all over the place winging it and feeling like a failure. So anyway, nutshell. Feeling like a failure is a waste of time. And even if you don't succeed, like even if you try to do stuff and they don't work out the way you want them to learn from it, do you understand? And this is now the business owner in Nigeria talking to you. Running a business in Nigeria, almost nothing, <laughs> nothing, almost nothing is going to work out the way you planned. The way you saw it in your head, it's not going to be like that honey you can't even make a white table and it will be white it can be china china white you know <laughs> have you ever tried to make white furniture in nigeria and it comes and it's lilac yeah and then the carpenter is telling you no no auntie not white oh ah, auntie this not the real white and then they're like no that little like purple that little like lilac Either way, learn from it. So now you know, okay, great. He's great at making the furniture, but maybe I will need to pick the materials with him. So either, okay, are we going to have a WhatsApp conversation as you buy the products or send someone with you whose color palette I trust, Ugh. you know, but basically learn from it, whatever it is. And obviously I'm using this carpenter example as an example. Yes. Okay. So the brown, um, okay, so in my crease is throwing shade. On my eyelid is bronze struck. And this little bit that I'm putting in the middle is guilt trip. I like the shade names. This, I actually don't want this eyeshadow to kind of stand by itself. I want it to just be like a tiny spot that's brighter than the rest, kind of. Yeah, so that's what I wanted. I don't know if I should throw some glitter on this. What do you guys think? That's my birthday girl now. Oh, what the hell. So I'm going to go in with Stila. This is Stila Diamond Dust. So eyeshadow done, I'm going to brush off my security. All right, now I'm gonna line my eyes.
So the lashes are really long, but they are a very sparse design, so they don't look crazy. So yeah, basically, be grateful. And more than just, you know, it's easy for me to say, oh, be grateful, but I think what would really help you is a gratitude jar or a notebook in fact a notebook if you don't want to get fancy and get a jar and be all ceremonial with it last tip i'm actually gonna put some gloss on my lips Okay, so that's it guys. In a nutshell, all of this long grumbling and raving was to tell you that this year I am incredibly grateful for life, incredibly grateful for everything that I've been able to achieve, incredibly grateful for a chance to live the way I'm living now as opposed to the way I was living five, six, seven years ago. Oh my God. Um, so yeah, my new year resolution this year I don't have a long list of things that I really want to do this year. This year I have one goal and one goal alone and that is to build a stronger, more intimate relationship with my God. It is, in my opinion, the single most important thing you can possibly do and the Word of God tells us that when you do that, everything else falls in place. You are basically building a relationship with the one person that knows everything loves you literally to death and knows everything i mean i mean you said check them all right guys thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video and also more of the kind of videos you would like to see on this channel i definitely want to make more video content this year and i want to make video content that you want to see so let me know below what kind of videos you want to see if you want to see more beauty videos like this if you want to see more talking videos like this if you want to see more videos of me doing makeup on other people or more vlogs let me know i have a few old vlogs that I never edited. Let me know if you want to see those too, okay? 2019, let's get it. <laughs> you made it to the end of the video. Woohoo! Have you subscribed to this channel? No? What are you waiting for? Hit this button right now. Wait. Hit this button right now. Press it. Press it. And while you're at it, check out my other videos too.